Y'all heard it from Nikki first because she basically manifested that Cardi B's career would have fallen off. And we haven't heard shit from Cardi B. Cardi B spoke all that stuff about Nikki being canceled. And, you know, her husband is a rapist. And Jason Lee was like, no one is going to check for Nikki. No one is going to support Nikki anymore. But where is Cardi B? Where is Cardi B's music? Nothing. And it's so funny that they've both bullied Nikki. Nikki thinking that, oh, if they were to create beef and make people think Nikki's the problem, no one would listen to Nikki. Nikki wouldn't have that support system as she used to. But one thing about it, Nikki proves that she is so iconic. You can't cancel someone that music loves, okay? And let me just say this. It's not about the industry. It's about people. People like the fans, we're the reason why celebrities are so famous. So if people actually loves Nikki, how on earth Cardi B thinks it's possible to cancel Nikki? Now, I think Jason Lee is ashamed because he basically told everyone that Nikki would have fallen off. You know, it's only young kids listening to her music. She doesn't deserve her success and everyone is going to stop listening to her. OK, and when he realized that people were still checking for her people still buy Nikki's music Nikki's music was still charting is still charting you know he then comes to say you should retire because you're old and washed up so what he did was he realized that Nikki is still astoundingly perfect and she is still relevant he then goes to drive fear into her by saying you're old you're washed up so he tries to make her feel insecure and Nikki is nowhere near insecure. So she used that hate, okay? And she built steps and she said, listen, I'm gonna drag y'all and I'm gonna make my music. And what's very devastated to me is that Nikki lost her father, unfortunately. And in the midst of her grieving, you know, People were still attacking Nikki, including Jason Lee and Cardi B. I was like, this woman just lost her dad. Why is everyone attacking Nikki? It shows that even in her worst times, people wanted her out in the industry because they wanted to broke her so bad that she didn't have the capability of making music again. And she basically broke down that barrier and she used everything to build her. That's iconic. And that's why she earns her flowers. That's that's why she is still relevant because she is showing people that no matter what you throw at her, she's always going to use that as a stepping stone to build herself. And she literally demonstrate the whole idea and just a page of how iconic she is and there's actually not another female rapper like nikki i'm not even sure there's a rapper like nikki and that's why she's like the most hated person in the music industry by corporate giants and other rap bitches that are so jealous of her because they don't have the balls like nikki first of all they don't even write their own songs so of course they're gonna be jealous and at this point, like I said it before, Nikki doesn't even need a Grammy. She's way above that. And I heard, allegedly, Cardi B had to pay the Grammys for her award. Because I definitely, I'm sure, she did not deserve best rap album. That album was not it. Invasion of Privacy was not it. And that's my own opinion, okay? But let me know what y'all think down below in that comment section. And see y'all next time. And thank you for sipping with us.